thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the reissued M3A1 U.S. Armored Personnel Carrier Half Track. That's a 135 scale monogram kit, number 85-0035. Originally released in the 50s, this is a skill level 4 kit, molded in olive drab green, clear black vinyl tires, flexible tracks, and water slide decals. This monogram classics half track is set up as a personnel carrier with a 50 caliber machine gun turret and and when the machine guns and turret are installed the dimensions are about seven and a quarter inches long uh, three inches wide and three and a quarter inches high here are the contents of this kit and while some people might call this an open box review I think you can see everything you need to see here in about 10 seconds they would you know pick up the parts and try to describe them or find some words to tell you about them but it won't help you get the kit built now will it so we're gonna put this one together for you and show you how it's done we're using model masters uh, liquid cement sometimes super glue for strength and if there were any clear parts we'd use some white glue but you want to keep in mind always follow the manufacturer's safety use guidelines when using any of the products you see here in the review. Here are the decals for this kit. As you can see they're kind of sparse. Just the stars and registry numbers but you'll want to probably use some setting solution on those two just to make sure that they uh, conform to any of the models contours and stick to the plastic. I gathered up the floorboard, handbrake, gear shifter and transfer case shift lever and sprayed them Rust-Oleum Camouflage Olive Drab. The transfer case shift lever and gear shifter are detailed in flat black and the handbrake gear shifter transfer case shift lever are then attached to the floorboards. Now the seats are detailed with some olive drab as well. Now the frame, bed and front axle assembly are sprayed the uh, camouflage olive drab and the front axle assembly is attached to the bottom front of the frame. The bed is attached to the top rear of the frame. The molded in copyright script there on the bottom of the bed along with a sticker logo should be removed. Now the, the molded in logo can be removed some sandpaper and you know a hobby knife and then the sticker can actually be uh, lifted off of there with a little bit of uh, solvent like uh, lighter fluid. Now spray the rear cab wall with the Rust-Oleum Camouflage Olive Drab and secure the frame and the bed. The seats are detailed with some Model Master Olive Drab brush paint. The body sides right and left are painted camouflage drab and then the right body and left body sides are attached to the frame assembly. Spray the doors and the dashboard camouflage olive drab and then the left and right doors are installed onto the body sides without glue. Tape the doors in place then install the dashboard in the body assembly. The dashboard will lock the door hinges into place and once the glue is dry carefully remove the tape from the doors. The steering wheel is also Rust-Oleum Camouflage Olive Drab and detailed with some flat black before it is installed into the dashboard. The driver is then painted uh, olive drab for the helmet, flat tan for the boots and skin tone warm for the uh, uh, face and the hands. Testers olive drab for the uniform and model master boot flat black for the boots. Please note that the steering column should be installed into the dash, the bottom of the dashboard now before you put the driver into place or there may not be room to get him in there. The grill and the hood are sprayed with the olive drab paint and then the grill is attached between the body's right side and left side. The hood is attached to the grill and the dashboard and the body sides. Paint the gas tank halves uh, olive drab and detail them with some Model, model Masters olive drab uh, brush paint. And the left gas tank is attached to the bed and the left body side and the right gas tank is uh, attached to the bed and the right body side. Now spray the body rear, rear door and the door hinge uh, olive drab and then the rear door is installed into the body rear end with no glue 
and the door hinge is attached to the body rear, locking the rear door into position. There is a second body rear in the box with the same part number, however that is for the monogram 0034 half track. So the body rear with the door then is attached to the back of the body assembly. Paint the window frame that olive drab color and the clear window acetate sheet is cut to fit the window frame. There is a template in the instructions, however I suggest cutting the windshield a little larger than the template says and the windshield is then installed into the windshield frame and with some testers clear part cement or white glue and then the windshield assembly is installed into the body assembly. The windshield armor and the headlights then are spray painted olive drab and the armor is attached to the windshield frame and the hood. The right and left headlights are detailed with some tester silver and the right headlight is attached to the right fender and the left to the left fender. Now get out the bumper, the winch top and the winch bottom and spray those olive drab. The winch bottom and top are attached to the bumper and the bumper assembly is attached to the front of the half track frame. Now the halves of the five gallon tank are assembled. The seam line is then sanded and if you need some filler use a little of your favorite basic putty there. And the process is repeated for the second fuel can and they are attached to the body assembly uh, by the front of the doors. The hook is then sprayed uh, rust oleum olive drab and attached to the rear of the body assembly. Now the inner and outer uh, bogey wheels are painted olive drab and the inner wheel is attached to the outer wheel the twice there and one bogey wheel assembly is attached to the left side of the frame and the other bogey wheel attached to the other side of the frame. The track snaps together and the instructions say not to use glue. However, I would use some super glue to keep it in one piece. Both the inner idler wheels and the inner drive wheels are spray painted with some olive drab and the inner idler wheel is installed onto the rear post by the bogey wheels and the inner drive is installed onto the front post by the bogey wheels. This is repeated on the other side of the body and then the tracks are installed onto the idler wheel, the drive wheel and the bogey wheels. Both the outer idler wheels and both drive wheels are then spray painted olive drab. One outer idler wheel is installed onto the rear post attaching it to the inner idler wheel. Then the outer drive wheel is installed onto the front post attaching it to the inner drive wheel. And this is repeated for the other side of the body. Both the front outer and inner wheels are spray painted camouflage olive drab and the front outer wheel is attached uh, into the tire and the front inner wheel is installed into the back of the tire and attached to the front of the outer wheel and this is repeated for the other tire assembly. The front tire assemblies can now be installed onto the front axle assembly. The left and right storage racks are spray painted camouflage olive drab and then the left storage rack and the right one are attached to the body assembly. Now the turret, gun ring and gun mount are spray painted camouflage olive drab. Attach two of the gun ring retainers into place on the turret. The gun ring is then installed into the turret and the other two gun ring retainers are installed securing the gun ring in place. Now the gun mount is installed to the top of the gun ring and the retainer is attached to the bottom of the gun mount, locking that into place. Now on the gun ring there and do not get any glue on the gun ring or the gun mount if you want them operational. I had to do some trial fitting to make sure that that worked and I glued the last two gun ring retainers into place then with uh, a little sanding between test fits to make sure that the gun ring would be able to rotate. Here is a top and bottom view of the turret assembly and the gun ring retainers and the retainer are not painted. 50 caliber machine gun is painted tester semi gloss black and the handrail is spray painted rust oleum camouflage olive drab. 
Now attach the turret assembly to the body assembly. The handrail is attached to the turret assembly and the left body side and the 50 caliper machine gun is installed into the gun mount. The figures are next and there are five sitting riflemen and one walkie-talkie operator that go in the bed. The soldiers are painted uh, skin tone warm tint for the face and hands, flat tan for the boots, flat olive drab for the uniforms, flat brown for the rifles, and semi-gloss black for the rifle trim and walkie-talkie. The model master olive drab is on the helmets and flat black is on the boots. There are six backpacks and four blanket rolls that I painted flat olive drab. Three backpacks and two blanket rolls are placed in the left storage rack and three packs and two rolls are placed in the right storage rack. The machine gunner are painted similarly with drab olive drab helmets, skin tone warm tint for the face and hands, olive drab for the uniforms, flat brown for the weapons and semi-gloss black for those uh, trim parts on the weapons and flat tan for the pistol belt and the boots and model master flat black for the boots then they are attached to their bases so here's a progress check on your models build at this point it should look like this the star decals number two are applied to both doors and the rear door and decal number three is applied to the front fenders and below the left tail light. The tail light lenses are then painted with some gloss red paint. With the construction done I decided to weather the kit with some Tamiya weathering set A which is sand, light sand and mud. I used all three colors and brushed them on to appropriate places where mud and dirt would find itself on the real thing. I also used the testers mud paint marker and the earth paint marker to provide some streaks and highlights on the high parts of the fenders and rub spots. At the top here you can see Monogram's 0034 armored half track and the 35 personnel carrier. As you can see they're pretty close to in build construction and this kit was fun to do and it'd be great for any collector's uh, you know collection the, the there was a little problem with flash in the kit which can be uh, in, seen in many of the pre-assembly pictures but you know uh, a hobby knife will take care of that and the front axle assembly still has a bit of a gap between it and the gearbox on the frame just like the 34 version and even with the flash and the gap it was still a nice piece to build and wasn't too difficult um, but it'd be nice if they had included a machine gunner to man the 50 caliber uh, machine gun. However, the nine soldiers they did add made the kit much more realistic. Well, there you have it. We hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and also at our website, www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.